last year when I came here and moved to Utah, the first thing I asked uh, the organization was uh, if they know any hospital they're doing uh, research because one of the promises that I did to my mom before she passed away was I'm going to help as much as I can to cancer to patients and uh, to the research too. And, um, she was the most important person in my life so when she got diagnosed by, with cancer, with lung cancer, first of all I thought like you're not a smoker, like how you can have cancer, lung cancer, but um, then doing research and all the stuff, uh, you see that not only uh, lung cancer patients are smokers, they can be non-smokers too. So when everything happened, I thought it was, it was going to be easy. I mean, you never smoke, so it's going to be a, an easy one, but it wasn't. And it really impacted my life. Uh, seeing the person that I cared the most, uh, going through all that, it was so painful that uh, it stick in my mind. And one of the promises that I made to my mom was I'm going to try to fight that disease and try to get people to know more about or bring more awareness about that type of cancer so they can get it quicker. After seeing all the research and, and all the work the, doc the doctors put in, it's amazing. You see that the real heroes are, are them. I know it's tough and sometimes you don't see the light, but you got to use it for the right purpose. And uh, seeing her going through all the stuff, that it drive me to really help other people who's going through that. It's something that I really feel and it's the best way to really show it. Sometimes that uh, why I have to go to the hospital and, and bring back bad memories. At the end of the day, when I go back home and uh, I, I remember all the patients that I can help and uh, uh, families that can go to a game, for example, and have a little fun while going through a tough process, it's, it, it fills me up, you know.